Hi friends, today we're gonna to be reading a super fun and interesting version of The Little Red Hen. This version does not even have a hen character in it and she is not going to be making bread. This book is called Armadilly Chili. This book is totally different. The characters are different, the setting is different, the problem is a little bit different and the solution to that problem is definitely different in this book. What I want you to pay attention to as you listen to the story is the ending. Today for our activity, we're going to be writing how the ending or the solution in this book is different. So enjoy the super fun version of The Little Red Hen. This is called Armadilly Chili by Helen Ketterman, illustrated by Will Terry. Armadilly Chili. Miss Billy Armadilly, skit scat skitter down the lane. A blue northern's a blowin', and my old cold bones are rattling for a pot of hot armadilly chili, she said. She was gathering beater beetles when her tarantula friend Tex came by. Hey Tex, I'm making a pot of armadilly chili, said Miss Billy. How's about tapping your toes this way and helping me gather a box full of beetles? Tex wiggled his long jiggly legs. Shucks, Miss Billy, I'm going dancing today. Ah, uh, then I'll fill my box of beetles myself, harumped Miss Billy. Just making that face there. When she was finished, Miss Billy headed for her garden. She was picking jalapeno peppers and chipotle chilies when Mackie the bluebird swooped down from his bush. A cold northern's a blowin', Mackie. How's about whistling up a tune and helping me pick? A peck of peppers for my armadilly chili, asked Miss Billy. Not today, Miss Billy, said Mackie. I'm shaking my tail feathers to the movies. Miss Billy, Billy snorted. Then I'll pick a peck of peppers myself. After she finished, Miss Billy scurried to the prickly pear cactus patch and started chippity-chop-chopping. Her friend Taffy, a horned toad, looked down from her rock. How's the gal supposed to concentrate with such a racket going on? Taffy, I'm chopping cactus for my armadilly chili, said Miss Billy. How's about helping me chop a chunk or two? Can't you see I'm lacing my skates? I'm skating the day away, said Taffy. Miss Billy's face turned red. Then I'll do the chopping myself. When her basket was full, Miss Billy hurried home. She began to fix her armadilly chili. She mixed and stirred and cooked and stirred some more. Soon the armadilly chili bubbled on the stove. Miss Billy was carrying out the trash when Tex tottered up. Howdy, Miss Billy, said Tex. It's a mighty cold night, and I could smell that armadilly chili a-cooking all the way home from the dance hall. Miss Billy plunked the lid on the trash can. I have a saying, Tex. No working with Billy, no sharing the chili. I'm afraid you danced yourself out of dinner, cowboy. Whoa, I'm sorry you feel that way, Miss Billy. Tex whirled around and hurried home. Miss Billy stood there feeling as sour as a scorpion. Suddenly, Mackie blew in a cold breeze. It's a rough wind blowing, Miss Billy, but I could face it if I could warm myself with a bowl of that fine-smelling armadilly chili. Sorry, Mackie, snapped Miss Billy. No working with Billy, no sharing the chili. Maybe remembering that movie will keep you warm. Mackie's tail feathers drooped. 
and he flew away. Miss Billy went inside to stir and taste her chili. It needed a little something. She dropped a few more peppers in the pot. Ding dong, Miss Billy answered the door. Taffy stood there shivering. I'm freezing, Miss Billy. Could I beg a bowl of your hot armadilly chili? She chattered. Miss Billy shook her head. Land sakes, Taffy. A horned toad with goosebumps is one sorry sight. But no working with Billy, no share in the chili. Taffy shivered and skated away. Finally, the chili was done. It smelled delicious. Miss Billy took a taste. Her ears drooped. Her armadillo chili just wasn't right. It tasted flat as a Texas prairie. She checked her recipe. She hadn't forgotten anything. What was wrong? She looked around. Her kitchen was warm and bright and cozy. Outside, the wind howled and whispered. Miss Billy peered out the window into the darkness. I know what I forgot, she said. Ding dong! The doorbell rang again. Miss Billy opened the door. Mackie, Tex, and Taffy stood in front of her. She gasped. Land sakes, your noses are as blue as I feel. What are you carrying there? Sacks full of apologies, Tex said. Well, come on in, said Miss Billy. I brought a thermos of hot apple cider for sipping with friends, Mackie said. I brought hot jalapeno biscuits for sopping with friends, Tex said. And I brought homemade chocolate fudge to sweeten us up, Taffy added. Miss Billy hugged them all. Friends, that's what my armadillo chili was missing. The four friends set the table together, then talked and laughed long into the cold, blustery night. And the armadillo chili was perfect. So that was our story for today, the armadillo chili version of The Little Red Head. For our activity, we're going to be writing about how the ending of this book, The Solution, was different.